Hi everyone, my name is Tristan from the cpapstore.ca. Today we're gonna to be talking about rainout. What is rainout? Rainout is excess water in your tube that can kind of condense on the side of the tube. And this water can go through the tube and even make its way to the mask, causing a lot of discomfort. So rainout is mainly caused by two things, either temperature or uh, humidity. So if you have high humidity, you're obviously gonna have more water droplets in that, uh, in that tube there. So the first tip is gonna be getting a heated tube. This is a heated tube. This is climate line tubing from ResMed. Um, you, get, you can get climate line tubing for the AirSense 11 or also the AirSense 10. Um, some machines like the DreamStation 2 don't come with a climate tubing. You have to buy that separately. Either way, having a heated tube is one of the best ways to combat rain out. The reason why is because your CPAP machine has a heated plate that warms the water and causes that humidity. But when it goes through the tube and it's not a heated tube, that water quickly cools and turns back into water droplets and therefore you're going to get rain out okay but with a heated tube it's like having a humidifier plate all along the tube all the way to your mask and that's going to keep that water warm and decrease the chance of that high humidity air forming back into water droplets and that brings us to tip number two moving your machine okay so here we have the machine here and we have a tube hook here now this tube hook is actually not a tube hook i just use this for like jackets and stuff. If I actually were to sleep, I can just put this around this and I have, uh, I don't know, there's like this little like wood thing on my bed. It holds the tube in place, so it's all good. But if you don't have that, then you can have a tube hook like this. And it has a few different benefits. So the first benefit is it decreases the weight of the tube. All the weight is here and all the pressure is here so that it's a much lighter sleeping experience for you. And the second thing is all the water that can condense in the tube most of it's gonna be running back into the machine and not running down into your face. For example, in this situation, roughly, let's say 60% of the tube's here and 40% of the tube here. So the water droplets here um, are obviously gonna be running into your mask, but that's obviously a huge decrease. So if rain out is just a little problem, this is a way to kind of help reduce some of that moisture. Alternatively, you can have the machine like significantly lower than your bed, and then 100% of all the water is gonna be running down back into the machine and then not into your mask. So you wanna have the mask at the highest point and then your machine at the lowest point. So for some people starting CPAP, they might hear about the tube hook idea and how it decreases the weight of the tube on the face and has a more comfortable experience. So they'll put you know, a machine up on a dresser like this and then use it on the bed. But as you can see, this is the opposite of what we want when we're talking about rain out because 100% of the water is gonna be flowing down into your face. So this is the worst possible situation when it comes to rain out. So in conclusion, when we're talking about rain out, we either want to have a tube hook or have the machine at the lowest point and the mask at the highest point. Not this, because this is the complete opposite. So tip number three is just going to be adjusting that humidity level. A lot of people like to crank up the humidity of their machine um, because everyone knows that uh, dry air is not healthy, right? Breathing with dry air is not healthy. Some people get a little paranoid with that and just like crank humidity up to like a level 10 or 20 or something like that. Most people don't need this. So if you are having rain out and you're cranking up that humidity, just lower it down a couple notches and see if that helps. Tip number four is going to be using a tube cover, like a zippered tube cover. I'll put a picture right there, right? And that is kind of just like a, a beer koozie of your CPAP tube, right? So with your tube, there's a little bit of, I think, copper in there to heat the heated tube. Um, and there's some areas without that. And those areas, if your room is quite cold, uh, you're gonna be in contact with the air. The cold air is gonna basically a attack the tube. And in those areas, you're gonna have a little bit of condensation within it, okay? Now with the tube cover, it's just gonna make sure your tube is a uh, uniformly warm, right? There's not gonna have those cold areas. If you have a window open, you know, it's gonna be insulating that tube. And just making sure that the tube is remaining warm um, in all places is really important. And a tube cover can be a great option for that. It's the same type of thinking of if you have a cold beer on a hot day, it's kind of in, in reverse, but you have that condensation on the outside of the can. Same thing uh, where the inside of the tube is kind of acting like the outside of the can. And if you have a cold breeze or a cold room, um, the condensation is going to be happening inside that tube. Now to piggyback off of that idea, we go into tip number five is just to make sure that your room is not cold. I know a lot of people like to sleep in the cold. If you are sleeping in a cold room, make sure you have a tube cover. If you don't have a tube cover just yet, you might want to crank up the heat of your house just a little bit um, just to minimize some of that rain out. At last, you want to keep that tube as short as possible, kind of like we showed with the other example. You know, the more tube, 
the more areas of condensation to be had. This is also important when we're talking about masks. So for example, here we have the ESON tube. We have kind of an area where you're going to put the heated line tube right here. Okay, so obviously not a lot of areas where your air is going through an unheated tube. So this is a pretty good option for you. On the other hand, we have something like a P10 and this tube doesn't come off. So all of this area here is an unheated tube where some rain out can occur. The reason why they have this is because this is a much lighter tube and it's gonna be a much lighter on the face and much more comfortable in terms of uh, moving around in bed, right? But obviously this little area can create some rain out. Now, in another type of spectrum, we have the Evora by Fisher and Paykel, right? This is the Evora nasal. And as you can see, the tube is much longer than the N30 tube. So if you're looking for a cradle mask and rain out is kind of an issue, you might wanna go with an N30 by ResMed because the tube is quite a bit smaller. So the length of the tube does matter, not as much as some of the other things we pointed out, but it is something to be considered. I hope this video helped you with your rain out issues. If you have any other solutions, feel free to leave it in the comments and help other CPAPers out. Take care.